Hi people, how you doing? It is um, Wednesday afternoon and I'm hopefully trying to get things back on my feet. I've been feeling like poorly and a bit miserable so I'm trying, trying to get myself out of it. So I went down to the post box. My mum sent me some money in the post. Now if it if it wasn't for my mum and I'm very grateful, I would have just had a debt letter. I've been communicating with people of plenty of fish. Um there was an incident where I went down to get the letter from my mum, get my post. I came up in the lift and the next door neighbour had that dash hound. And it was making a lot of noise near me. It's really, really getting on my nerves. It's pissing me off. Um, it seems to be done like someone's listening to when I'm going outside my door. They hear the door shut. And that dog is absolutely horrendous. I can't even get in and out of the lift. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I managed to... The dog was held back. Um, she went down in the lift after me, after I'd come out. The next door neighbour went in the lift with her grandchild. Right? The dog is a menace. It's a, a real bad menace it is. It's getting on my nerves. Anyway... I came out of the lift, I came into my flat and I've got a debt letter and a note from my mum. The debt letter is Lowell. Now they're asking for a debt that is over 10 years old. So this is just a pile of rubbish. J.D. Williams, £76.51. pence. You need to call us, Miss Crystal Marshall. You need to call us. If you don't engage with us, we may pass your account to a third party debt collection company to manage your accounts and contact you on our behalf, which they've done with that other debt. They've threatened me with court action. Susan from Milton Keynes. Like many, I buried my head in the sand about my problems, but Lowell have been a great help now and my debt has been paid off. Elizabeth from Bristol. Good communication, easy to use, website friendly service. Um, this debt is 10 years old. You can swivel. Not cross, not angry. We have a letter from my mum. And again, we've got a stamp with King Charles's head on. The money is soon going to be changed into King Charles's head and not the Queen's. British Heart Foundation uh, postmark. Again, it looks like 333 all over the back of the letter. 33, 333, wiggly lines. Dear Genestra, remember my name's Crystal now, but... Dear Genestra, just a few lines, hoping that you are well, always thinking of you. Enclosed is £40. Bye for now. Mum. So I was able to get food yesterday. I tried to cheer myself. I've got my Santa hat on. And every time my mum sends something in the mail, there's like things happen. But I have to go into the shop. The woman next door is skinny, very skinny. She's got a dash hound and she goes around with a long coat and a bobble hat. And she's got a dash hound. She's white. She's not black. She's white. She's a white woman. So on the way, I've just come back from walking my dog, Max, who is a chihuahua. Um... And there was a black lady with a long coat, with a dash hound, walking past me. 
her dog doesn't scream and bark and jump all over my legs. She knows how to look after it, that obviously the dash hound is not making a nuisance of itself. This one, I'm scared to get out of the lift and go in the lift. You can hear it. I heard it right downstairs squealing. And I, it just makes me like, oh my God, I've got to be careful. It has jumped on my leg. Um, so, I, you know what I mean? I'm moving out of this place. I'm really trying to move out next year. So I'm not complaining or anything like that. But it's done on purpose. A performance just to go to the co-op. So I went out to the co-op before I took Max out for a walk. So we've got some Pringles. And what's happened here is a mouse. There's a mouse eating the Pringles. What's happened there? What's that? What's that? There's a hole in the Pringles, like a mouse has chewed through to the crisps. These are Pringles, sour cream and onion, and there is a hole in the bottom. I didn't notice that. Never mind. We've got a Danish crown cake. We've got a turkey feast, British turkey feast sandwich. We've got some meat. We've got some thin sliced chicken and some thin sliced smoked ham. Uh, we have some mini rolls, raspberry mini rolls. We have some festive stuffing, Scotch egg. It's been squashed in the packet. Kim did point that out to me. She pointed it out to me. She pointed that out to me. But the, someone has squashed the Scotch egg, squashed it. It's been squashed. It's the last one now. I wanted a meal deal, so I got the innocent apple juice. Innocent apple juice. So that's your that's your meal deal. The sandwich, the apple drink, and the festive stuffing scotch egg. I got two yuzus, a strawberry and a banana. And jelly babies. We've got the Sun newspaper, which has got the home of Britain's cheapest Christmas dinner, which, budget friendly, Aldi, everyday amazing. And as Harry moans again, one for all, all for one. Oh. Boris Johnson out walking in his green ready boots on page two. So I'll read the paper later on and uh, just to cheer up the place a bit and maybe I've got I've got the Santa, I've got the Christmas pudding, now I've got the penguin. Got the penguin the penguin plant holder so I'm going to put that with the other plants in the pot I've got somebody asking me how I am I'm trying to figure out I don't know whether they they want to be a doctor or, or train in the medical industry how are you uh, what's your disability? What's wrong with you? All this and that. Trying to gain knowledge of how to cause my pain worse. I don't want to moan. I don't want to moan. I was quite honestly happy this morning. Bloody lovely walk. Really nice walk. It was. And I come out of the lift and I've got this... This dash hound sounds like a mad dog. 
coming towards me. So I put my shopping down and then I went out for a walk with Max onto the field because I'm feeling a bit ropey, a bit dizzy, a bit like tired and I just wanted to take it easy so I went onto the field there was absolutely no one on there at all when I went onto the field there was people coming onto the field as I was coming back I was listening to Taylor Swift music on my mobile I wasn't taping I'm trying to like make myself happy and, and in the spirit of Christmas because Christmas will soon be upon us and who wants to feel alone and miserable at Christmas? Nobody does. And why would somebody want to make somebody miserable and on their own at Christmas? A sadistic pig. A cruel, sadistic pig. And I'm not going to be miserable at Christmas. I have done many YouTube videos. If you go down my other, other YouTube account, Nesta Nesta, you will see a video of me New Year and Christmas, about eight years ago, by myself. And I was smiling and listening to the radio. Eight years ago that was, and I'm still in the same position now, talking to an unknown prick of plenty of fish, winding me up. So this guy is a medium, a medium. But remember that if you watch catfish and scamfish, that what people do is they become somebody else. So they steal their persona, they steal their photographs, they steal their videos and they become them just to scam you out of money. So, I've got a whole load of this Sam Miguel medium photos. I've gone into what I've been directed to. I've gone into the medium's account. And maybe I'll message the guy directly on his account and see if he has really texted me on Plenty of Fish. That's exactly what they do. It's somebody, it's either a jealous nasty female or it's somebody I've turned down who is pretending constantly to be other people to find out where I am and what I'm doing and if I'm with somebody that's what it really is so I'm gonna get on with singing songs on Star Maker I've got wonderful pets I've got a wonderful life I've got a nice big flat it's in a nice area. I don't need people trying to upset me. See you later.